Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabuff.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin in 2022. How is everybody tonight? As you guys might tell, I am a little under the weather. <laughs> Patricia, you're the first one coming in. Yay! Um, yeah, I kind of got, I don't know what I got going on. I have a sore throat and my voice is kind of sketchy and my face hurts right here. Whatever. I'm glad to be alive <laughs> and we are going to persevere. That's what we're going to do. So yeah, 2022, I'm starting it off not on a real good foot, but I have all the intentions of making it much better than it has been the last couple of days. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I got kind of, um, Wednesday night, right after bingo, Haley and I and the baby went up to my mom's house, and as we were driving over there, I kind of felt a lump in my throat, and Thursday I felt okay, and then um, we came home Friday, and Friday afternoon I slept on and off all afternoon, evening. I took a good long nap today, too, so I should be ready to rock it tonight, right? I have some exciting projects to share with you. Um, <clears throat> I am, let's see, what else? Oh, um, Mall of America was really fun. We took my mom up there and anytime we go to Mall of America, we always head to Bubba Gump's for lunch or dinner or whatever time it happens to be. So we got to do that and that was really fun. If you saw my Facebook profile, you saw that we got, we rented one of those little animals that rides around, they're electric. That was really fun. Cheryl says she got five inches of snow on New Year's Eve. We got snow too, but I don't know when it came. And it's cold here. Like I have my new little, my new little, well, it's not little, my big fuzzy. It's fuzzy. Can you see how fuzzy it is? Yeah. I got this on. Ooh, I love it. It keeps me nice and snuggly. And then here's my new boots. Oh, look, is there a tag still? Oh, no, they're lugs. I was going to say, is there still a tag on the bottom? These are my new boots, and these are probably snow boots, but I wear them in the house because my feet are cold all the time. Not today, since I had on my new boots, and my mom got a pair of them, too. She was worried they weren't going to be warm enough for outside. She said they're nice and snuggly, so I'm happy about that. Um, then I have to show you this. So I love the movie Elf, and a lot of times I will say, like, Santa, I know him! because that's what they say in the movie, and I think it's really funny. And, um, yeah, so my niece got me these pajamas with a hood. They have Will Ferrell all over them, and OMG Santa, and I know him. And they are, they're like a onesie. <laughs> are these hysterical? <laughs> oh my gosh. And they're really, really soft and cuddly, so I can't wait to wear these. <laughs> My niece knows me pretty well. And um, you might notice I'm wearing a different tiara tonight. This is my New Year's tiara. I always wear this first of the year. Yeah, Patty says I like the new crown. I always wear this for my New Year's or thereabout um, Facebook Live. So, yeah, I like this one. Somebody gave it to me, too. I remember... I I wish I could remember who, but I don't. And you guys know me well enough to know that would be really hard for me to remember because I'm terrible that way. But anyways, um, yeah, we've got a lot of uh, fun things going on. Um, I wanted to let you know that Steve has recovered from his wrapping injuries. So all the paper cuts are healed. Um, the uh, elbow injury is all healed. So... <laughs> It's good to go. That man wrapped all of the presents, like all of them. He didn't complain once. He was so sweet. And uh, tonight I was on a conference call. We're getting ready for our catalog kickoff, Barb, Dina, and I. I was on a conference call, and all of a sudden he hollers upstairs, and he goes, Kelly, supper's ready. And they both, like, hate me. <laughs> They're like, I wish somebody would make me food. So I went downstairs, and he had coconut shrimp and cheesy cauliflower for me for supper. So, mm, yum. I hope you guys had something good. What did you have? What did you have for supper tonight? Yeah, um, Diana, I do. I'm under the weather. I've felt sick since Wednesday night. 
wasn't too bad. Um, went to Mall of America. I felt okay. But then Friday, I just really kind of took a turn for the worse. So I hope that we make it through tonight. I'm feeling pretty decent. I sound worse than I feel probably. So <laughs> um, I do not have a John update. John, um, I have not seen him. Um, him or his wife and his vehicle has been sitting in the driveway. So I don't know what's happening with John. I hope he's okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, who said that? Seeing Debbie says, seeing the picture of Steve all wrapped up was a hoot. I know, he's so funny. Um, who got the new catalog so far? I know I put a post on earlier today, but these are arriving all over the country. Oh my goodness. And my friend Barb does this to my catalog. I know it's backwards, but you kind of get the idea. She types up the item code and the name of all the celebration items, and we put them right here on the front so that we have them easily. We don't have to go paging through every time. So kind of a handy little tip, right? I think it's genius. She's a genius. Hi, Mom. My mom is on. Okay, so I have to tell you guys what happened. I was hoping my mom would come on because I haven't talked to her since I came home. So, when we were on our way home from my mom's house, we come down um, a four-lane divided highway, right? Two lanes going this way, two lanes going that way. So, we're, we were by um, Amherst, and all of a sudden, we're in the slow lane. There's a car up in front in the fast lane and another car in front of us, okay? So, you got the picture. And we're back, you know, like several car lengths. We're not like tailgating. I don't like to tailgate people. So we're we're just driving along. Everybody's doing about, I don't know, 70, 75, probably 75. And all of a sudden, there's a kind of a calamity up above, up in front. And Dina always laughs at me when I say calamity. So calamity. And all of a sudden, the car in the slow lane pulls right over all the way onto the shoulder, like completely off the highway, going 70 miles an hour. Boom, he does this. At the same time, the car in the fast lane goes over into our lane, the slow lane. And they're both like 70 miles an hour. And I slowed down because I'm like, and I said to Haley, what the heck is going on? And right at that moment, you guys, an SUV, boom, goes right down the wrong way of the highway right by us. Like it happened so fast, you couldn't even see what kind of vehicle it was. And Haley's like, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And it was just insane. So, thank goodness that we were really paying attention. And, you know, when that traffic started doing crazy things in front of us, we didn't like move over, you know, because we would have got hit head on. And the car going that way in our this way lane was going super, super fast, like faster than 70 miles an hour. Like it was crazy. So I don't know what was going on. I don't know if he was drunk. I don't, I don't know if it was a he or a she. I don't know if it was a suicide attempt. I don't know, but it was like, right? We were like, whoa, what just happened? It was the craziest thing. So my husband told me this morning, he went to the Y, and he always says prayers in the steam room, which is kind of cute, right? And he said, he said a, he said a prayer this morning um, that he was very thankful that we didn't get in this accident, because it would have killed all of us. Like, we would all have been dead. So, yeah, it was very, like, oh, very disturbing, crazy, like crazy. I hope my voice lasts tonight. You know, I'm such a big mouth. <laughs> I know. Susan says you were so lucky. I can't even tell you. Like when that traffic started doing weird things, it was like, everybody's going like this. And then they just went like this and wham, a car went that way. If we would have pulled around, it would have been lights out for everybody. So <laughs> yeah, we were safe through that calamity, right? Oh my gosh. And before I forget, I want to ask you guys also to say some prayers for one of my followers, Wendy. Wendy's daughter got in touch with me and told me that she was in the hospital. She was not doing very well. She watches me religiously. She's on my team. She's always on here. She's the sweetest, most thoughtful person ever. And um, she's in the hospital. She does not have COVID. 
but she's got some really serious things going on that it was kind of touch and go. Today I got a message saying that she was improving a little bit, so that was exciting, and I just wanted to send that out to my prayer warriors to pray for Wendy. She is the sweetest, nicest, most thoughtful person ever, and I just would like some extra prayers to head her way, right? So, um, who just said that? Jared, it's Haley. What did she say? She said, oh yeah, and then Haley called 911 and told them, and 911, like, they're pretty much waiting for the accident call to come in, because what are they going to do? They were sending police officers, but yeah, it was, it was insane. Anyways, prayers for Wendy, please. Um, I know that she would pray for anybody who needed them. And don't forget, caring is sharing. Make sure I'm sorry, I'm backwards. This is how this is gonna go. Sharing is caring. Please, please click on that share button and share this video right now. Hi, Terry Sampson. I'm happy to see you. Thank you guys so much for the prayers. I can see them coming in now. Thank you so much. Um sharing is caring. Please click on that share button right now. That really helps me grow my business. And I appreciate it so much. Also, click on the like button right now. That also helps me grow my business. It helps me in the analytics on in Facebook world. If you're watching later on YouTube, um, give me a thumbs up. That's really helpful. Make sure you leave a comment because you'll get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. So I'm just watching everybody come in here. Oh, Barbara's going to add Wendy to their prayer chain. Um, and it is not Wendy Sue. It is uh, Wendy with an I. And I don't know that I'm comfortable saying her last name on here, but she is on our team. So um, I believe she did a demonstration at the last team meeting. That Wendy. Fabulous, fabulous, sweet person. So I'm glad she's getting better. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you guys in case you missed it. Here's a little sneak peek at new celebration paper. This is called Marbleous, Marbleous, and this is the um, oh um, mm, uh, oh, what's this called? Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't think of the name of the stamp set. What is it? Um, oh darn it! I had a piece of paper here with it written on this morning, right behind you. There we go. Whoo! God, oh, I'm losing it. I'm a little foggy. Um, right behind you, is this not the cutest thing? We had bingo on Wednesday night. And I posted a link to these on my Facebook page earlier today. But is that not cute? This is the newest, one of the newest celebration papers that are free with your $50 order. Now, celebration starts on Tuesday, January 4th. Woohoo! Um, again, if you do not have these new brochures and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that sent you one, I would love to earn your business. So please make sure you get in touch with me by popping me an email at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com um, with your address and I'd be happy to send you the new catalogs. Look at this one. Isn't this cute? Love those clouds. Again, the beautiful, beautiful paper. This hill is the other side of this paper, and these clouds are the other side of this paper. Isn't that cool? I love this. Again, bingo cards. Then we've got seashells. Um, I can't think of the name of this one either. <laughs> like my brain is dead. Friends are like seashells, woohoo! Oh, Kathy says she has two packs of this designer paper already. Way to go. Hi, Michelle Davis. I hope you are doing well. Um, beautiful, beautiful card, right? And I still have this ribbon. This is the fine art ribbon that is used around here. And then also, whoops, for the little seaweed here. So we took it and we pulled all the strings out of it. And look what is left over. Is that not the coolest thing? Yeah. Yeah. So, very cool, again, with that marvelous paper. And then we did two, and I can remember the name of this one, I don't know why, with the art in bloom, and look at how pretty those are. This is one of those um, stamps, dies, and embossing folder um, sets that you can run through your machine all at once. Isn't that pretty? Love these. So, 
Celebration starts on Tuesday. I'm super excited. I would like to do some extra things this week for you guys. Um, I might randomly be live. So I don't have a schedule figured out yet. I want to make sure that I am starting to feel a little better before I obligate myself to any type of a schedule. But I'm thinking that I might be doing um, maybe a live around noon each day to kick off celebration. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. And don't worry because if you're not available to watch, it will be posted on this Facebook group and you can watch it anytime, right? Okay. Um, first thing I am going to do, ooh, uh, we are going to be talking about my January kit class later when we make a card with it. Yay! We're going to be using Sweet Talk and I'll give you all the details for that. We have prizes to give away. So, for commenting, now this is where the comment comes in, you guys. Please make sure you leave a comment. It doesn't matter what you say, but just leave a comment so that you can get entered in a prize drawing. And I cleaned out my office um, last Sunday instead of being live. Well, first of all, let me tell you, my plans all got changed. My sister was sick. She had COVID. So, our going up to my mom's house for Christmas got delayed. And um, so I was home instead of being gone. But I took the opportunity to clean out my office. And can I just say, everybody should do that. It is such a wonderful feeling to have everything in its place. And I'm not tripping over stuff on the floor. So I found a bunch of stuff to give away. Um, this is the Borders to Backgrounds stamp set. There's five different borders in here. It is a photo polymer set. And I also have the gold glitter enamel shapes going out for commenting last time to Nancy Hun of Pasadena, Maryland. Nancy, these are on their way to you. I'm excited to be able to give those to you. Next up, for sharing this video the last time I was live, Linda says you sound congested. Yeah, Linda, I'm not feeling well at all. I'm kind of sick. So we'll hopefully get through tonight. Um... For sharing the video from last time I was live, I have Mickey Banky of Menominee, Michigan. I happen to have this little O oh Snap stamp set. It's perfect in time for um, uh, Valentine's Day. It has crocodile kisses in it. It's just adorable. As well as the Expressions in Ink Ephemera Kit that I'm going to be sending to you for your share from my last Facebook Live. And last but not least, I have the Painted Texture Embossing Folder as well as the Kangaroo and Company. Another great little set. Perfect in time for Valentine's Day. And this is going out to Heidi Dunavan of Bolivar, Missouri. So congratulations to all of you guys. Now I got to put this so I don't lose it any place. So hang tight. I always kind of like to put it over there where it's going to, I'm going to trip over it so I don't lose it. <laughs> okay, who's ready to stamp? Are we ready to stamp? Oh, don't let me forget to, I have a whole bunch of mail if I can last that long. And I, I'm only saying that because I don't know if I'm going to get all tuckered out. Um, I'm feeling under the weather for those of you that might have just come on. And I don't know if my voice is going to last. So, you guys know I have a big mouth, right? <laughs> Who knows that? <laughs> Who just said that? Becky just cleaned out her kitchen, moved the fridge, moved the sofa. Isn't that just a fabulous feeling? That is a fabulous feeling. I love, love getting stuff clean like that. Okay. I am going to, I have a bunch of samples. Well, I have several samples. I shouldn't say a bunch. But I am going to get my little goodies out here. We only have one more opportunity to get your hands on the Eden's Garden collection. So I, as I was cleaning out stuff, I keep all my video cards in that drawer or that door down there. And so when I design a card, I put it in, I put it in an envelope like this and I put it in there so I can use it for Facebook Live and videos, right? Well, as I was cleaning everything out, I found two cards that I designed with the Eden's Garden collection that I never showed you guys. Hello! So, we're going to do those first before we move on to 
new product coming out on Tuesday. So I hope you guys are good with that. Let me get my camera flipped around. And we are going to get, oops, let me grab this. We're going to get busy. Oops. Hang on, I got stuff falling apart. Who is binging me? Oh, Barb. <laughs> my iPad does not stop doing notifications when I tell it to be quiet. I don't know why. So hang tight. Oh, Linda Bunce, you're so sweet. Oh, and Barbara Beck, thank you for the get well wishes. I'm sure I'll be just fine. Just kind of a winter cold type thing that's rather annoying. Before I forget, this is my current host code. I just changed it. This changes periodically. You can find this on my blog, which is right the address right here. You can find this at the bottom of every blog post or in the right-hand column. If you're ever putting an order in on my online store, if you're ever, I hope you are, <laughs> you will, um, when you go and click on your cart to see the items in your cart, up at the top right, it says host code. And when you click on that, it leaves you a blank to enter this. You can always find this on my blog. You're going to look for this kind of graphic. And um, please use that if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Okay, Eden's Garden. I hope all of you have seen this. It is an absolutely gorgeous specialty designer series paper. It's got the gold foil in it, as well as a stamp set with dies. Now, these two things are carrying over to our new... January to June mini catalog. So these will still be available, the dies and the stamp set. This Garden Gems and the Eden Ever Eden Designer Series paper are no longer going to be available once that new mini catalog goes live on Tuesday. So just wanted to remind you guys, we also have coordinating products, right? This is the gorgeous Evening Evergreen um, open weave ribbon that, of course, matches as well as any of our gold, soft succulent, lots of good stuff. So the first part I'm going to make for you is a fun fold. Hang tight while I get all my bits and pieces out here. This is a piercing mat, by the way. And um, this, I just cover it with printer weight paper and use that as my stamping surface. So here comes all of our layers. We are going to be using a, um, hang on, I gotta get my dimensions out here. We are going to be using soft succulent. I was like, what color is this? It's soft succulent. This is eight and a half by five and a half. We also have some, uh, hang on, scraps. Oh, here we go. Some scraps. This is Evening Evergreen. We've got a four by five and a quarter basic white. Um, we've got a scrap of soft succulent. And then we have our designer series paper. I've taken this and I've cut two pieces. These are one by four. We've got Evening Evergreen. That is, mm, I don't know how big this is. Hang on. I thought I had everything written down, but I don't. This is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. There we go. These two pieces get layered under our designer series paper. These two pieces are one and an eighth by four and an eighth of evening evergreen. And then we have the basic white is our front panel, and this is two and three quarters by four. Okay, this is a fun fold. Did I say that? This is a fun fold. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little stamping. So, uh, la, 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 la. hang on. Mm, where'd our dies go? Right here. <clears throat> the Eden's Garden stamp set comes with 10 different stamps in it, and these are like a beautiful, I don't know if you'd call them watercolor image, but they're they're kind of watercolory, and I really like that in a stamp set. We're gonna take um, this particular die, and we're going to die cut a soft succulent uh, label out of there. 
we are also going to use this particular die to die cut an evening evergreen little sprig out of that and I think that's the only die cutting we're going to do for this card so hang tight I thought I had these done ahead of time but I can't find it so maybe I thought so but I didn't I'm going to run that through and here's our little sprig and then let me put this away We've got a soft succulent label and also an evening evergreen label. So I'm just gonna poke some of these elements out of here. Who has this collection? And how much do you love that designer paper? Like, I think it's so beautiful. I love it. Nancy says the best thing. Oh, Nancy, you won a door prize. Um, the best thing when you have a cold or a sore throat is hot tea. And you know what? I am a tea drinker, Nancy, and I did have hot tea for this morning. I haven't had any since then. Okay, we are going to do a little bit of stamping. So let's see. We need this piece. We'll set that aside. We're going to do this one and this one. And... Da -da -da -da. Here we go. We're going to use this big floral image with the evening evergreen. This is such a pretty color. I love it. And we're going to do that right at the top of this layer. By the way, you guys, you'll find all of the dimensions <clears throat> for my projects that I'm doing tonight on my blog. And I probably will not get them loaded until tomorrow morning because I'm thinking... When I get done here tonight, I'm going to need to go to bed. <laughs> How's that? Um, it's, the, it's the truth. Okay, then I'm going to take... Isn't that pretty, by the way? I just love that look. I just think it's so soft and pretty. We're going to take the hello there with the evening evergreen. And I'm going to stand up so I hopefully get this straight. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, I did pretty good. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this is I am going to cut this down. <coughs> I have such a dry cough. Judy says I need a hot toddy. <laughs> I would agree with you. <coughs> and then I'm just going to trim this a little bit. You could do this in your paper cutter if you need to, <coughs> a little bit smaller. I want it to be a little bit smaller than that. Now, I could have just cut a sliver of cardstock and stamped it on there, but I don't know, for some reason I thought this would be easier. There we go. Okay, we're gonna add this to our evening evergreen layer. Lynn says she has the Eden's Garden and she was going to use it today, but she ran out of time. I love this whole collection. I think it's so pretty. Let's see if I can get this centered on here. Okay, I did pretty good. All right. Next up, we are going to take this piece and add it to the Evening Evergreen <clears throat> layer. Oops, let's see if I can get that straight. There we go. <coughs> we can glue some of these things together. Gosh, that, that dry spot in my throat is just relentless. It's like so dry and I'm not really, um, I'm coughing, but it's such a dry cough. You know, the kind when you get up in the morning and you're not feeling good and you have that cough that just like hurts. You're like, <laughs> that's what I was like this morning. <laughs> I'm done with that now. So that's good. But yeah, I don't have time to be sick. Celebration starts on Tuesday. I got a lot of stuff to do, which reminds me, you guys, we have a catalog kickoff 
um, that starts on the 5th. If you are a member of the Stamp Happy Academy, you get this for free. If you're not, it's only $10 to do the catalog kickoff. We're going to have lives and mystery stamping and all kinds of fun stuff. So you'll find all the information for that on my blog if you'd like to join. There will also be make and take packets available. So we haven't um, released that information yet, but they're coming. So just know me, Barb, and Dina are going to have a blast with this catalog kickoff. We're going to give you tons and tons of inspiration for that new spring mini catalog as well as celebration. All right, now this is, I said this is a fun fold. So what we're going to do with our half a card, um, half of cardstock piece is just fold it in half. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And now we're going to put it into our trimmer. Hang on a second because I need to take this sweatshirt off. I'm getting way too hot. I didn't even do anything wrong. And I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> Woo, we're stripping here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Whew, that's better. Okay. We are going to go with one and a quarter. Oops, hang on my 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 um scoring tool keeps coming out. Oh, you know what? I think I broke it, didn't I? Yep, I did. Okay, we're gonna, we don't need that. We're gonna go up to one and a quarter and we are going to cut up to our fold line. That looks great. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And this is the front of our card. So I just want to make sure I'm getting up to that. Yep. Okay. This looks great. Just like this. Okay. I'm going to guard this with my life. You see what happened? I broke the tabs off of it. I think I dropped it. Yeah. Oh, that'll happen, right? Things happen. Okay. Then we are going to take this basic white layer and we're going to add it right in here. And what I want to do is I want to add some little leaves with that soft succulent. So I am going to take this particular image and soft succulent ink, and I wanna come in right about here. So we're gonna come in right about here. And then I'm kinda of looking at this to see where this is gonna stick out from. And I think I'm gonna come in mm, right about here. We'll see in a minute why I'm doing that. And then the sending hugs, this is my sentiment that's gonna go on the inside. And we're gonna do a dry fit here. And you can mark this with a pencil if you wanted to. That might be a really good idea. But I am just going to stamp my sending hugs right there, okay? Aw, oh, thanks, Vicki. Vicki's sending me some prayers. Yeah, I don't know. Just a cold, and I'll get over it. Glad I didn't have it, like, over Christmas when we were running to everybody's houses, right? But little Miss Val kind of is coffee and has a, is kind of acts like she has a cold, and I'm thinking maybe, and Haley, too. Haley's not, she's not 100%, so I'm thinking that we got it. Maybe from Val. I don't know. Okay, we're going to glue these two pieces down. Now we're going to put these in. Now this really is a very easy, fun fold, but it is so, like, it has a big wow factor because of that middle panel. And I'm going to show you even more wow factor. Oh, good. I thought I messed it up. <laughs> oh, hang on. This is crooked. I can't have it be crooked. Oh, whew. let me get this off of here. That'll make a bunch of bulk under there that I don't want. There we go. Okay, see how I tore this? You're thinking, oh, Kelly, you just ruined it. No, 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 it's fine. All right, we're gonna glue this again. What I noticed is that this piece was very crooked and I need it to be over to the side here, right? There we go. Okay, now we'll get this glued in here. 
Mistakes are just opportunities. That's what somebody told me one time, and I love that saying. They're opportunities to, for what, I don't know. Sometimes it's an opportunity to just be mad. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Now, this middle piece right here, we're going to score in the middle. So now I have to get that score blade. <clears throat> And this is um, four and a quarter, so we'll score it at two and an eighth. Get my little score blade back in here. And that'll work, because guess what else? Besides being a fun fold, this is gonna be an easel card. So we are going to adhere this layer only to this bottom part right here. So you don't wanna put glue up here any place, just on this bottom part. And then you're gonna close this and center this on the whole thing. Are you guys with me? Like this is pretty neat, right? I think I made this for a swap card, I can't remember. But I was shocked when I found it and I hadn't used it yet. Okay, <clears throat> this little piece right here is what's going to hold up our easel. And let me find my dimensionals here. Do I wanna use black? I'm thinking black would work really good. These are the black combo pack of dimensionals. And I think I'll cut a little sliver here. Where did my glasses go? Hang on, I gotta put my glasses back on so I can see good. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. I see all the hearts coming in. And now I'm just gonna put a little sliver of dimensional right there on that leaf. That should be good enough. That's gonna hold everything up nicely. Get the back off. And then we are going to put this right about here. And you want that raised up on the dimensionals so it will catch your easel. Oh, look at all the hearts, yay! Thank you guys so much. I am so happy. I'm so happy I didn't lose this. You know, like, it could have been over. Um, all right, and then next, we are going to take this, and we're going to add it to the front, that center panel. Oh, I don't think that dimensional is good. It didn't have a top on it. Oh, by the way, I got my nails done. Did you guys see that? Yeah, she did the cute, I did not get in a fight with my nail lady again, so <laughs> I had her do the snowflakes that she usually does and she didn't get all weird. Okay, here we go. Isn't that pretty? What do you guys think? Ah, super easy, one and a quarter inch, cut these two pieces and then layer it up, layer, layer, layer. Now. Before we're done here, we need to have some bling, right? And I love these. I think they're so pretty. Um, we're going to add a few of these embellishments on here. These are called the Garden Gems. These are not going to be available after tomorrow, Monday, is the last day you can get your hands on these. So pretty, right? Ah, I love this. Matching envelope. Don't forget to stamp up or cover those envelopes with designer series paper. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much. Okay, next. Let's keep rolling along here. Let me get my stamps cleaned off. This is our chamois. This is how we clean our stamps. I love this thing. Cleans them right up. I just did the edges there because I saw that I kind of missed those. Everything's nice and clean. If you want to get one of these, they're in my store. S-H-A-M-M-Y. Shammy. Okay, so there's our first Eden's Garden card. Next, oops, let me take my dimensions down. Oh, look, I just found that. I did cut one. See, I'm usually pretty on top of my game. I just couldn't find it. <laughs> Next up, we have all kinds of beautiful stuff coming out here. Goodness gracious. Hang on. Things are falling. Now, 
this is our gold shimmer paper. And I'm going to drag out my holiday catalog because this is on sale. It's only $4.50 a pack. And it's right here. It's also shown on page 45. I made sure that all this stuff was still available today. It was part of the Beauty of Tomorrow um, suite. But this shimmer paper is so, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, my good Lord, right? So gorgeous. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're again using the Eden's Garden Designer Series paper. And we are going to take these two pieces and this piece and this piece. We're going to use the gorgeous border die right here. We're gonna do one, two with a border die. Hang on. I'm gonna grab these dies. Then I'm gonna bring out my Stitched So Sweetly dies. Who has these? Like, who has the Stitched So Sweetly dies? I absolutely love these. We're gonna do this one on the gold glimmer paper. And then, na, 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 hang on. We're gonna do this one on the white paper. Just put away. Okay. So once we have all of these die cut, this is what they're going to look like. Look at how pretty those are. They have this stitching on them. They're just absolutely beautiful. And this one. Okay, I am going to be using a basic white card base. And you know what? This is cut the wrong way, so hang on. Let's see if I've got a thick... Yep, this is going to work better. Um, this is four and a quarter by 11. It's already scored at five and a half. I want this to be a tall card, so that's why I'm changing over to this one. All right, we are going to fold on that score line. Oh, we don't need that here. Fold on that score line, and next we're gonna take these little buggers. This is a piece of uh, um, hmm. three, I think it's three inches, three inches by five and a half of the designer series paper. We're going to take and put this right on here. So what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do, because I want to make sure that this isn't going to get too wide. We need it to fit in an envelope, right? So I'm going to actually glue this on here. <clears throat> I'm gonna run my glue right down. And keep this on here straight. So it's not going off the edge. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing over here. See how that's going off the edge of my card? We can't have that. We gotta have it all in there. Okay, there we go. Um, where'd my scissors go? Right here. Then I'm just gonna trim this off. Now, if you wanted to, you could have taken your gold shimmer paper and cut it at five and a half. Either way, you're gonna end up with the same, same thing happening. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to put this in the middle. This is our three by five and a half. And you're just going to center this. Now this looks a little bit busy. I have a different one that I made that I think I like a little bit better. But you can decide which one you like. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to stamp on the inside of my card. We should have done this first. You know, I'm kind of weird about that, right? My heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. And how sweet is that, right? Ooh, I did it good. <laughs> I also have a half inch piece. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with this side. Or uh, this is probably actually three quarters of an inch, but it's just a scrap of the designer paper. I'm going to decorate up that inside a little bit. Okay, now we're going to do a little stamping on here. We're going to grab that Sending Hugs again. And we're going to stamp that right in the middle. And then I'm going to grab this leaf image. This is different from the other one that I used. And we're just going to kind of add some elements here with the soft succulent. Just like that. I'm going to bring this in here. Let's use some dimensionals. I have dimensionals like everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry about my throat clearing, but otherwise I won't be able to talk. So we're just going to have to deal with all that. We're gonna center this right on here. I love these dies, like I use these so much. These are fabulous. Okay, now I wanted to put a little bit of ribbon on here because I just thought that would look really nice. So I'm going to take some ribbon and cut it off. I'm gonna put this on the back of this layer because I just think that's the easiest way to secure it. Got a little bit of tape, just like that, okay? And then we're gonna glue this right to the front of our card. Yeah, I like the other one that I made better. So just hang tight and I'll show that to you. I like the darker designer paper on there. I just thought I'd try this one and see how well it Okay, love this layout. I love these border dies. I just think they're so fun. I'm always, I'm always up for a border die. And we're gonna put on some more of these garden gems. There we go. Sending hugs. My heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. Here's an envelope to match. Another really pretty card. Let me show you this one. <gasps> this uses the Evening Evergreen for the card base. And then we use this particular pattern. The card is exactly the same. Everything else is just exactly as this one. So what do you guys think of those? Eden's Garden, so pretty. Now, just in case you missed it, the stamp set and the dies are available in the next mini catalog that comes out on January 4th. No, January 5th. Oh my gosh, I get so confused. Where's my catalog? If you ever wonder, the dates are right here. January 4th. So this stamp set and the dies will be in the next catalog. The Ever Eden Designer Series paper and the garden gems as well as the there's some um oh some little tissue paper too that will not be in the next catalog so those things are only available through monday january one two third <laughs> dates are hard it's kind of like math <laughs> All right, let me get this cleaned up because next up we have some brand new product to play with from the new spring mini catalog. We're calling it, it's the January 
to June mini catalog, the JJ mini catalog, I've been calling it just because that's a little bit easier. Super pretty. Barbara says she likes the darker one too. Yep. Yep. Totally agree. I do too. I didn't know how this one would turn out because I hadn't made it yet. But yeah, I definitely like the darker one too. Okay. Let me just get my mess picked up here. Got my little basket. I'll throw all my things in here. Okay. There we go. Everybody, take a drink. Get a beverage. I'll get reset here and we can keep going. What are you guys drinking tonight? You guys know what I'm going to say, right? Strawberry lemonade. I'm so boring. One of these times I'm going to shock you and I'm going to say margarita or an old fashioned. That would be fun. Okay. I have a whole bunch of beautiful swap cards to share with you tonight. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to get out my card stack layers here. And I do not have um, my little DSP samplers made for the new papers yet. But I wanted to show this paper to you. This is cut six by 12. Now this is going to be my next online class, my kit class. Look at how cute this is, right? Um, this is going to be the Sweet Talk class. It is my January kit, and I plan to get this out of here early so that you will have the opportunity to make your cards before Valentine's Day. So I just want to let you know that. Look how cute that is. Super cute. This is called the Sweet Talk Designer Series Paper. You get a whole pack of it, so that's fun. I love these. I love these stripes. Look at how fun that is. And last but not least, yay. Okay, so you get, a, you get a whole pack of this. You get a pack of, hang on, iridescent rhinestones, which are in here somewhere. And I don't know where they went. Where did they go? Here they are. Iridescent. Iridescent rhinestones. Look at how pretty those are, you guys. You get a whole pack of this. Plus, you're going to get a roll of the red ribbon. This is really, really nice. Faux linen ribbon. Very pretty. And envelopes. Plus, we have these cute little boxes. These are our, they're called sweet little boxes. And you're going to get a half a pack of these with your kit. And everything is <clears throat> scored for you. Hang on. Gosh, that throat just like seems to get a dry spot in it. And then my eyes water. <laughs> okay. There's even um, like, like um, um, seal plus. Peel the back off. And these just go right together just like this. And then you have these cute little boxes. Now, these come 10 in a pack. <coughs> Hang on a second. Sorry about that. These come 10 in a pack. You're going to get a half a pack with your class. This class is, and it includes envelopes. So you're going to make four different designs, two of each for a total of eight cards. Um, the kit itself is $54. That includes tax and shipping. You have the opportunity to add on the Sweet Conversations bundle and also the Sweetheart Dies. Fun, fun, fun. As well as this embossing folder. This is our new gingham embossing folder. So super, super cute. You have the opportunity to add these onto your kit when you sign up for the kit. Now, I do plan on having... <laughs> Ingrid says, one day I cough so hard I pee my pants. I totally know what you're saying, Ingrid. 
Oh, I should put, Debbie Box says, put a humidifier in my craft room in my bedroom. I should do that. I think I have one too. Um, anyways, you have the opportunity to add these on to your class if you need them, which is wonderful too. So this information will be posted, I'm thinking tomorrow. I have it kind of ready to roll. I just need to do some proofreading and make sure I didn't make any mistakes. And I'll probably put pictures of these cards by um with that too so i'll have this ready to roll ready to order tomorrow we are going to be making a stinking adorable little card so hang tight this is gorgeous scrape and hang on oh that's interesting i don't have any dimensions okay I was ready, but apparently I was confused. All right, we are going to take, this is four and a quarter by 11, and we are going to score it at five and a half, and then we're gonna cut off two and three quarters. That was really quick math. So, hang on. Score at five and a half. Another cute fun fold. And then cut off two and three quarters. Boom, just like that. Okay. We're going to burnish this edge good. Then I have another piece. This piece is two and a half by eight and a half. And we're gonna just fold that in half. Now you could score it if you wanted to, but I cut the cardstock so that it wouldn't give me a hard time here. There's different grains to cardstock. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, and then we have two basic white panels. One's for the front, one's for the inside. This is two and a quarter by four and a half. We're gonna do a little stamping on both of these. We also have this designer series paper and you could honestly use any one you want. This is two and a half by four. So we can add this right to the front of our little panel. It's gonna go right here. And this of course has that gorgeous, or I'm sorry, um, Highland Heather color in it. So I love the purple and the red together for Valentine's cards. <clears throat> okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and, well, let's see. Where'd my dies go? Did anybody see them? Dies, dies. Good grief. How could I lose that? There they are. Oh my lord! <laughs> like, how does that even happen? I'm going to put this back in here. So, what I thought would be really cool, and I'll let you guys decide which one I should go with, is to take this white layer and die cut these hearts out of it. So, hang on a second. I'm gonna empty out all my little bits. What happens when you do that is you get a piece that looks like this. So you get these little hearts right here, right? And then the little hearts from the inside. So. While this set of dies has 16 um, dies in it, you get all of these other little extra things. So then I thought what would be really fun is to take this and die cut it on the um, Highland Heather. And then guess what? Then you're going to get this. So we can take this white out and this heart out and we can put this in. So when we get ready to do it, I'm going to let you guys decide which one you like better. So make sure you're paying attention. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I think I'm gonna go with the red. This is the Happy to Have You in My Life. We're gonna stamp that right there. And I'm gonna do this twice because you're gonna decide which one we're gonna use. Okay, then I'm gonna grab Highland Heather. And on this one, I'm gonna tape these three little stripes and we are going to add some fun to the bottom of this layer. And I just thought this was something cute to do with these stripes. Okay, and then, let's see. I forgot to get this one out. I want one of these little hearts here. here. I'm going to take this in the purple. I just want one heart. So just one little heart in that Highland Heather. And I'm going to do that right here. And I'm going to do it on both of these. I just think that's a really charming, cute little element there. All right. So we're going to set these aside and we'll make our decision in a little bit. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take, look at this teeny weeny little banner. Is that not the cutest thing ever? We are going to <clears throat> die cut that on a scrap of Highland Heather. And of course, I've already done that. And I'm going to take my happy to have you in my life and get that cleaned off. just using the Highland Heather again and I'm going to <clears throat> hang on gosh when my throat does that it's almost like somebody's like stabbing me with a pin in my throat <coughs> okay look at how cute this is <coughs> absolutely adorable good grief all right, let me put this away. It's all these super fun little elements, right? Okay, next, we are going to take the Hug Me Heart. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, and what I did is I used the Highland Heather, and I'm going to stamp this right in the middle, okay? And then I go up and down. And you don't have to think about this too hard. Like this was not hard for me to get these all put on here evenly. They're not perfect. See, that one's not perfect, but it's okay. Then two-step stamping. There's a little heart in here. I do have honey, Barbara. That's a good idea. I like honey a lot. And we're going to stamp in here. And again, this is not <clears throat> perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, we got that going. Now we're going to take a scrap and we're going to stamp... The Hug Me in Highland Heather. Real red. And Blushing Bride. And I chose these colors because those are the colors in my designer series paper, or some of them. There's a lot of cute colors in here. Okay. Get all of these cleaned off. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is <coughs> die cut these hearts and actually, where's my wink of Stella? Did you guys see it? Um, wink of Stella. Here's one. I thought I had one out here. I'll find it when we're done. <laughs> right? 
I'm gonna color these in with a little bit of Wink Estella because I just want them to have a little bit of bling to them. Okay, now we're gonna die cut all three of these. And when we do that, we're gonna end up with this. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. This is the way that we just can make things look so pretty and just a little bit more, right? This is cute, but this is going to be cuter. So I'm just going to take this and I'm gonna cover up this one. I am going to add one right here. You just randomly pop these on here and you can do as many popped up as you want. And they have that little bit of Wink Estella on them that makes them so stinking cute. Now we're gonna put <clears throat> this one on the front. Oops, hang on, I got a glue. Make sure this is opening the right way. This is our cute little panel. <laughs> hang on, I have glue on my fingers, obviously. Grab a baby wipe. off of there so I'm not sticking to everything. Okay, <clears throat> now we have this little tiny banner with the happy. I'm gonna put just a little bit on there. And I'm covering up the hug and now it says happy me. Isn't that cute? I love all these little elements. Now here's where you guys come in. So, we can take this and put this on here. I didn't even realize that this would cut out the hearts like this and an outline like this until I was doing this card today. We can put this right here like this so we have that little die cut hearts out of the bottom. So, it's either one or two. Which one do you guys want me to use? This one? Set these in here. It's just like a puzzle. One or two. You guys let me know. I am going to um we are going to let's see. I'm thinking I want to do some hearts in the background here. Just a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. Everybody likes the hearts. I did too. Yay! I'm excited. Okay, we're going to go with the hearts. Come on. And we're going to put this in here. Now, if I was smart, I would have die cut this on our sticker paper, right? Our self-adhesive sheets. Because that would be really easy to pull a backing off of here and stick it right in place. But I wasn't that smart. So you be smarter. <laughs> oh, look how cute. The oh, I got glue on my fingers again. Hang on. There we go. Isn't that just the sweetest? I love that. Okay. So let's see. Yep, this is going to be good. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the back of your red panel and I'm going to just open this up and I'm going to center this right on this layer. <coughs> okay. Just like that. Isn't that cute? We're not done. We have some red ribbon. <coughs> Someplace. Here it is. some red ribbon. I'm going to wrap this around the inside of my panel here. A 
this is where I could use an extra finger. I'm just going to tie this in a knot, just like that. Oh, that's kind of jacked up. Hang on. <laughs> I got a little bit too much slant on that puppy. Okay, there we go. All right, and then oh, these things, you guys. I think this is my very favorite new embellishment. I love these. They're called Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And of course... You can't get any of these until January, well, Tuesday, January. One, two, three, four. Is that so funny that I can't remember that date? It's like insanity. Okay, January 4th is when the new catalog starts. And I'm just going to add some of these. They are so, so fun. Just add another one. How about, whoops. How about right there? Aren't those pretty? So pretty. Okay, now last but not least, we need an envelope. And I have one right here. So what are we gonna do to our envelope? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna go with red and purple and pink. So we're gonna do all the colors. And we've got these cute little X's and O's. And I just want to do the flap of my envelope. So I'm going to take some printer weight paper. I'm going to stick it in here and fold it over so that all I have open is my flap. And now I'm going to add my X's and my O's. Let's do some O's. Um, let's do some purple O's. Purple. Watch me stamp it in the wrong color. Are you guys on my side? <laughs> this is risky. Well, maybe I'll just use pink and purple, or purple and red. I could have used pink also. Well, maybe I do want pink. <laughs> Sometimes more is better, right? Barbara's daughter's birthday is January 4th. That is easy to remember. I don't know why I have such a hard time with it. It seems rather silly, right? That I I said it like five times and I still can't remember. It's just, I don't know what my deal is. My brain is fried. Oh, let's do some O's now. Oh yeah, I like this better. What do you guys think? Okay, look at my, huh? isn't that cute? So, here is our adorable little card. Let me get my mess out of the way here. Watch me just shove this stuff off. <laughs> okay, so here's this one. And then I also made this one. This is Pool Party with a different designer paper. And um, Blushing Bride. What do you guys think? Super cute, right? Oh, that goes with this. Never mind. I don't have an envelope for this one. I'll have to make one. So we have some great cards. This is my kit class. Um, this is just an extra card idea. This is not one of the four ideas that we'll be using in the kit. But, or maybe it is. Maybe it is one of my kit class. I, I think I will put this in my kit class. So what you get with a kit is you get all your cardstock cut um, you have to cut your designer paper because you get the whole pack, right? And you're going to need the stamps and the dies that are used here. But any dies used outside of this bundle, I provide for you. Four different designs, two of each. This kit is going to be available, I think, on the... Mm, I want to say... Let me look at my calendar here. I've got my calendar right here. Me, Barb, and Dina, we're doing some figuring out here. I would like to get this kit in the mail on the 17th of January so that it's going out early enough for you guys to have plenty of time to work with your Valentine cards and make up all these cards. 
So again, this kit is $54. I will try to get the sign up form out there as soon as possible. I also think that this particular bundle will be fabulous for making like some baby cards. I think that would be really cute too. Yeah, and you don't have to make Valentine cards to send to friends, right? Happy to have you in my life. That doesn't have to be anything about Valentine's. So we've got this, and then we have this fabulous easel card. I'll have all the dimensions for that on my blog. And like I said, I probably won't get it up until tomorrow morning. I'll try tonight, but I'm thinking that I'm probably going to need to go to bed. Um, and then... This is the Gardens, Eden's Garden collection. The paper, um, the gold shimmer paper, the embellishments are no longer going to be available after tomorrow, which is Monday, January 3rd. So there we go, you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for the get well wishes. I hope I'm, I know I'll be feeling better, right? It'll be okay. I'll be fine. Um, I wanted to show you guys my mail, though, because I did get some fantastic mail to share with you. I always love sharing my mail with everybody. So let me move these out of the way because I really don't sound, I, I don't feel as bad as I sound. I just want you to know that. I'm feeling okay. It's just my voice is a little stressed. All right, mail. I didn't think I had this much mail, but I have a lot. <laughs> so we'll just do as much as I am going to get through with here. This is from my friend Lori Krause. She lives in Michigan. Beautiful, beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous for Christmas? And, oh, I know. I needed to, I got a whole bunch. I don't think I showed these to you guys. So hang on. I got a whole box of stuff from Terry. She's on my team. She made up a bunch of these little bags. And she sent me this whole box of goodies. Some little um, card, like gift cards. Three by three cards. There's a bunch of those in here. Look at how cute these are. Right? Look at this one. So I'm just going to be including these with door prizes until we run out. Because she wanted me to donate them some of these things. A whole bunch of ink spots from um, paper pumpkin kits. Also some paper pumpkin kits, right? This is cool. I can give away, I should say, some stamp sets from, from paper pumpkin kits. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff to give away from Terry that I'll just be including in door prize when I send them out, okay? So just know that's what's happening there. All right, next, this is from my this is from my Wendy that I asked for her prayers tonight. And look at this beautiful, beautiful card. She says, Dear Kelly, Merry Christmas and the happiest of New Year's. Many blessings for your new year with your new grandbaby and new professional goals and friendship, Wendy. Thanks for the card design. So that's the Wendy that we are praying for that she gets better. This one is from from hang on Anna Ribadu look at this what this log cabin so gorgeous right so so pretty the thank you card from Anna I'm sad that we ran out of these I just had one of my good customers call me today to try and order this and she couldn't get it there was three different things that she wanted to order but they were all gone this is from Ginger Super, super pretty Christmas card, right? Then we have, this one is from Deb Reno, Debbie Reno. Oh, so gorgeous. Love this. Very pretty. Then we have a card from Kim O'Brien. Hang on. Kim O'Brien. Look at how pretty that is. Love this. She's one of my newest team members. Then we have this beauty. This is from Sarah. She's one of my team members. She stopped by and brought us um, 
a, um, a block of cheese that was absolutely delicious. Then we have this gorgeous card. I love that bell, right? This is from Andy Aquisto. She's also one of my team members. She's the one who sent me the um, um, maple old-fashioned in a can and two little bottles of Southern Comfort <laughs> and old-fashioned socks. Yeah, really cute. This is from Kathleen Bryson. She's one of my... Um, one of my friend's customers that moved out to California from Wisconsin. So happy to hear from her. Beautiful card. Look at this. This is from Becky Busca. How cute is this sweater pattern? I love this. And I love it with the black and white gingham ribbon. Thank you, Becky, very much. This is from, guess who? Sarah Douglas of Stampin' Up. Sarah sent this card to me. She says, Dear Kelly, another amazing milestone, my friend. Congratulations on reaching 1.2 million. Yeah. It was so fun to spend time with you here in Salt Lake City, and it looks like Southern Utah was great, too. I'm so glad. Sending lots of hugs your way. See you soon, hopefully, Sarah. So Sarah Douglas is the CEO of Stampin' Up! And, uh, yeah, I, I just hit my $1.2 million in sales, so that's pretty exciting. This, look at this beauty from Lori Callies. Oh my gosh, Lori, this is just so, so pretty. Merry Christmas. This is a step panel card. Pretty neat, right? Yeah, very neat. Next, we have a super cute card from Noreen Bandiff. Look at the puppies. I love them. They're so fun. And she did a good job decorating the inside, too. Thank you so much. Next, we have Sherry Simon. Look at this cute card. I love the simplicity of it. It's just like the screams traditional Christmas colors to me. Beautiful, beautiful, Sherry. Thank you so much. Then we have Linda Gilbert with a fun fold. Look at this. Ready? This tucks in behind this little bird, opens like this, and then it opens like that. And isn't this the sweetest? She actually stamped on the glitter paper and colored it. That's how you do bling, right? <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Then we have Trudy Hudson. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, I just love this. So, so pretty. Gorgeous Christmas card. Then we have, hang on, I got to get it open. Ah, there we go. This is from Karen Slowinski. Look at how pretty that is. I love these colors together. Oops, I kind of mangled the snowflake. Hang on. There we go. Very, very pretty. Gorgeous card. Then we have Maureen Preston. Love this. So, so pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, here comes that puppy paper again. This is from, oh, B Red. Now, I opened this up and I gasped. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, isn't that cute? She says, love your tutorials. Keep them coming. I haven't done this one in a long, long time, but isn't that fun? Maybe I'll do a card like this for you guys again. Super, super cute. Love it. Yeah, it's a piece of acetate. It's a round piece of acetate or window sheets. And you just cut it in a spiral and attach one end of the spiral here and one end here and then glue stuff to it. Isn't it fun? I love it. Thank you so much. I'm going to set that up here. Maybe I'll make something like that for you guys. Oh, you know what? I just realized I never showed you the rest of my cards. Um, we'll do that when we're done with thank yous. From the ones I made tonight, I said I had a bunch of samples and then I never showed them to you. That's rude. This is from Sherry Adams. This uses that Eden's Ever Eden designer series paper, right? Very, very pretty. Gorgeous card. All right. Oh, this one is from Heather Wesley. Look at how pretty that is. I love this. And this uses that red velvet paper. Beautiful. Thank you, Heather. 
Ooh, here's another pretty one. This is from Kay Allen. Yes, I was right. Isn't that gorgeous? Love, love, love this. I wish this paper stuck around, right? So pretty. Next up, Carrie Schumacher. Carrie is another one of my team members. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Carrie. Then we have Karen Karst, another one of my team members. Love, I love this paper. Love it. Very, very pretty. Um, let's see, Julie Schulke. I think Julie's on here tonight. Here we go. Okay, ready? This was her Christmas card. And she put a little thing in here that says tuck card front here because this is a bay window card. Look at that. Oops. It's like a bay window. Isn't that cool? Love these. I showed you guys how to make these a while back. I don't remember when, but isn't that fun? Julie, thank you so much. I love it. Next up, we have... Aileen Mays. Look at how pretty this card is. Is that not gorgeous? I love that. I love the rhinestones on there too. That in there. Bonnie Hooker. Look at how pretty this is. I love this. Expressions in ink. Mm, so pretty. She won a prize. She's sending me a thank you. Next, oh, this is the last one, you guys, and then I'll show you those cards I promised to show you and then didn't. This is from Joanne Prosser. Look at all these goodies. Look at all the goodies. Whoa. Joanne, I'll make sure to give these away. We've got a team meeting coming up, so these will be, be great door prizes. This says, here are a few embellishments I have extra of and thought you could use them as prizes. I want to thank you for all you do, Joanne. Isn't that pretty? I love this border die. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And pretty matching envelope. That really does it for me. <laughs> okay, I got to not mix these up. But I got to show you guys the cards that I didn't show you. The Eden's Garden. So here comes one of the cards that I made. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Yes, that Eden's Garden. Matching envelope. Here's one that I got as a thank you card from Belinda Kelly. Isn't that pretty? I love it with that gold shimmer ribbon. And here's another fun fold that I did. Isn't that cool? And again, with a matching envelope. This folds flat either way. It fits right in an envelope. So this is pretty cool, right? Then I told you I'd show you some more cards using the um, Sweet Conversations or the Sweet Talk. Look at, here's a fun fold. This is a swap card that I got. Isn't that fun? Yeah, remember we made one of these a while back. Here's another pretty one. How cute is that? Here's one with a cute little, um, what are those guys called? Otters. That's part, this is celebration, but it used the paper, which I thought was super cute. You are utterly, utterly awesome. Here's another pretty one. I like the simplicity of this. Another pretty one. Positively pink. And another one. So so pretty. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I am going to sign off. I'm going to try to get as much done tonight as I can before I hit the hay. <laughs> Let my body rest. Oh yeah, Betty, we have a Packer game happening tonight. Started at seven o'clock. What time is it now? I don't know because all of my devices have you guys on them. So, yeah, I got to watch the Packer game, too. Maybe I'll go make myself a hot tea and sit and watch that for a little while. Patty Skiba. Patty was really sick this last week, too. I'm so happy to see you on here. Hang on. My voice is failing. 
I'm so happy to see you on here, Patty, and glad that you're getting better too. All right, you guys, I will be live again. <coughs> Good grief. I will be live again on, let's see, today's the 2nd, on the 9th. Don't forget, we have our catalog kickoff that starts on Wednesday this week. If you have not joined, it's only $10. You'll find information about it on my blog. I'll post it again on Facebook, too, in this group right here. Um, catalog kickoff is well worth the $10. Or if you're a Stamp Happy Academy member, it's free to you. If you are on my team, whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper, Stamp Happy Academy membership is free. So you get the um, catalog kickoff for free too. Okay, go to the Stamp Happy Academy website. Under events, you will find a link that shows you how to sign up for the catalog kickoff if you are a Stamp Happy Academy member. If not, and you, you get confused by all this, just contact me, kelly at stampabove.com. Here's my current host code. Please use that if your order is under $150. I really appreciate it. You're going to find all the details at astampabove.com. If you're watching later on YouTube, I'm going to try to remember to put links in there for the catalog kickoff and also the Sweet Talk January kit class. You're going to love this class. There's nothing better than somebody else cutting your cardstock for you. <laughs> Not going to lie, you guys. All right, have yourselves a wonderful week. I'm hoping to be live several more times this week, and I will give you an update as to when that will be. Have a wonderful Sunday, and go Packers. Good night. <laughs>